The Richard Beeren Show. Talk and music. Now, here's Richard. Hello, hello, and welcome back to The Richard Barron Show with me, Richard Barron. Today, we're thrilled to welcome Miga, who's a classical Indian dancer, author, filmmaker, and educator. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back with Miga. Hello, Miga. Welcome to the show. Hey, Richard. It's great to be here with you. You're a multi-talented performer. Can you please tell us how you first got involved with dance? So I was really attracted to dance uh, because of its costumes, jewelry and makeup, and I couldn't dresses. So I started training at the age of six. Wonderful, Mega. So how have you continued with your practice? For the last few years, I have been teaching dance. Um, and I also practice choreograph uh, to various contemporary themes and traditional themes. I conduct workshops and I write about dance. So I think I've been keeping in touch with it in uh, every possible way. Niga, can you tell us about your school and how you've continued during this time? So my dance school, Abhinayam, uh, teaches all age groups starting from the age of six. And I teach uh, dance as a language because it is a language of communication. Um, and I think what uh, the pandemic has done is it has moved me to Zoom and Google Meet. So I have become a better teacher as a result because I have to um, prepare a lot before communicating. Um, the body postures and you know enabling my learners to understand their bodies better without being there to physically correct it so i think i've become a better teacher as a result thank you for sharing that information and Miga, you're also an author can you tell us more yes i wrote and published this storytelling book called dance your way out and it covers all the eight Indian classical dance forms, their philosophies, uh, their costumes, their makeup, the states they come from. And a lot of people are unaware of all these, all the background to these dance forms. And I think the book sort of gives a glimpse to them and enables people to engage with dance beyond uh, just being a performance or you know you being a viewer of the dance form I think it's important to engage with and beyond that to really like understand and uh, appreciate them now Miga can you share a little bit more about the stories that are behind your dance I would like to demonstrate dance as a language um, and how it is a language so even while I'm talking I'm using my hand a certain way, but this has a meaning in, in dance. So I'm using basically a, a finger posture, which is called something. And the other way in which we communicate is if I want to show trees and branches, see how they're uneven and I'm trying to sort of emulate how uneven they are. And if you want to show water, and a bud to a flower. You can also add some emotion to your thing if you're feeling cold. Cool. You know, or the same thing can be used for fear, so the context determines it. So it's the eyes you face sort of gives you the context and the emotion to it. Um, and if you want to say, I'm bored, you know, this is what we do mm. in, in mm. regular life if we don't want to hide our emotions. So I think dance sort of brings those feelings there so you can see how dance mm. can be very mm. therapeutic or cathartic because you're sort of releasing these emotions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miga. And now, here's more with Miga 
on the Richard Barron Show. It's in performance, I'm just going to show you this is a movement of a mouse. If you see, this is how a mouse moves and like it keeps going everywhere. So we sort of represent the movement this way. This is the, the god sitting on it. So this is Ganesha and you have him holding what he likes to eat and then the flower on his hand to bless. So this sort of movement also comes from sculptures and you can see how the body is sort of forming lines. So that is um, one kind of music where you're talking about the gods and stuff. And another is about your life in general. So for example, if you had a girlfriend or a, or a boyfriend talk, you know, stuff about you that you don't want them to talk, and that is a situation, and then uh, there is a dance about it. And so basically um, the heroine or this person we're talking about the situation is so angry and upset with this person that she's like, you know what? Bravo, bravo, Miga, that was wonderful. Thank you, Richard. Miga, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? Oh, it's been a pleasure being here. And thank you for allowing me to share what I love. Thank you, thank you, Miga. Wonderful. We wish you continued success and inspiration. Thank you so much. I'm Richard Barron. Thank you for joining me here today with my guest, Miga. Ta-ta for now.